I know. I owe you guys an apology. You're all wondering, dude, where the hell you been? What happened? I know it's been a while, guys. I'm sorry. I've just been so busy with work and Midnight Motors over here. Look, look at this. I mean, Midnight Motors is, is getting a little bigger than I expected. But look at this, guys. I know. Some of you guys are like, wait a minute. No, Nick did not buy this car back. The customer actually um, brought it back. He wants to do a lot of stuff to this thing. So we, uh, this is gonna be a big job. Uh, just to give you, give you a little hint on what's going on, but I'll show you obviously on my Instagram story. If you're not following me, follow at Eddie's Life and you'll see the progress of this thing. But um, he, he wants a lot and like he wants this gone. So there's more room, see that? So it's a little tight and that's, you know, Nick's complaint too. Um, he doesn't want all this analog stuff. He wants to go all digital. So we got a dash coming, we got switch pros coming, we got light bar coming, we got Baja lights up front coming, suspension. I mean, this thing is, is this thing's gonna look good, guys. Um, but this is not why I clicked on the video. You clicked on the new toy, you saw the thumbnail. Yes, guys. Got a new toy. Um, you know, before I show it to you, I just want to explain. Ah, yeah, you know, I'm not even explaining. I'm gonna just show it to you. And then for everyone to ask me about my uh, sand car, it's just sitting here, guys. No motor still. Um, you know, the motor doesn't come in. I think until like May. That's why some of you guys are like, man, you're done for the season. No, I'm still going. Um, you know, uh, the white girl over here. Yeah, she's pretty much done. Well, because. She's got nothing in here and parts, honestly, right now, guys, if you want to build a sand car, uh, yeah, you better like start it in the winter to get it ready for the following winter uh, because the parts are just a nightmare. Some of you guys asking me, well, are you building a motor? I changed my mind. So, well, no, yes and no. I'm gonna build a motor, but I purchased a long block just because building a motor right now is like, is crazy. You know, the, 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 the parts, the timeline where everything is coming in is just stupid. It's taken so long, it's ridiculous. So we've purchased a long block. I'm not gonna tell you guys yet what motor I got. I'm gonna surprise you, so you're gonna have to wait. Um, but also, you know, again, uh, I apologize. It's been so long, just been very busy. Also, if you guys are interested, this thing is for sale right here. And if you're wondering why it's like, like this, well, so when it rains, the water, I get it off as fast as possible. But this is a 24 foot enclose. It is 108 inches wide on the outside, 104 on the inside. You get a, uh, no, you don't get diesel. You get a generator, fuel injected 4,000 or 4,500 generator. You can have that. 75 gallon fuel tank inside. Um, it's got an escape door, double axle. It's got two 5,000 pound axles on it. I'll show you the inside right here. Nothing crazy inside. Um, you know, I, I, I didn't even finish it yet inside. I was going to finish it, um, but well, I'll show you why we're getting rid of this. 75 gallon fuel tank. Um, you've got, it's, it's a toolbox also, so the fuel is there and there. Then you got the toolbox. Uh, here it is, you got drive up fenders, escape door. That's about it guys. So if you're interested, selling this bad boy, 20K. That's a special number, we'll start at 20K. If you're interested, DM me um, on my Instagram at Eddie's Life, and uh, you can come check it out if you'd like. Like I said, it is also the year is a 2023, I believe 29 of 22. So yeah, it's a 2023. Um, so yeah, let me know, guys. 20k, come get it. But let me show you the new toy. Are you guys ready? Damn, look at this thing. Whew. You ready? You ready? Okay. Boom! Look at her, boys. Not the forklift. The stacker. Now, this might look familiar to some of you guys. I'm gonna let this soak in and marinate here for you guys. Does it look familiar? Can you can you guys figure it out? Comment down below. What do you think? Check it out. Hmm. It does. So if some of you guys realized, yes, this was Big Lou's stacker. You guys remember Big Lou? Big Lou is, he's in, like I said, he's in school. Um, 
or not like high school, but college uh, going for his CPA license. So he's really, really busy and he pretty much has no time for the desert. So Big Blue is pretty much selling everything. Motorhome, uh, stacker, buggy, razor, all of it. Now, when I found out he's selling the stacker, I was like, whoa, 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 Big Blue. Hold up. Come on. Give me some love. Went to Big Lou's house, had a talk with him. I gave him an offer, he took it, and now it's here. So, for you guys that don't know Big Lou, or have never uh, seen this thing, let me tell you a little bit about it. It is a 20, from the front to the back, 28 feet with the tongue, 26 feet from this portion right here, this, this sort of kind of V, and then it goes flat, 26 from here. It has uh, propane. It's got an onboard Onan generator, 4500 generator. Let me come on over here. There you go, right there. The loud, obnoxious ones that I'm probably never going to use. Water spigot. So if you do need to pump some water out, you can. 100 gallons of water, 60 gallons of fuel. Let me show you the inside over here. And boom, boom. Here you go. It's got a 75 inch TV. This TV swings out like this. I'm probably gonna need two hands. I'll show you guys here. Hold on, one second here. Let me pull this like this. Oh, this thing is so, oh my goodness, so heavy. There you go. This swings out, bam. So you got your 75 inch TV. You got your couch or little twin bed. Or you close it, open this up, and you can watch TV like that. You've got uh, inverter, generator, all the lights, water pump. Oh, water pump's on. Oh, it's already pumped. Sorry, I, already, I think it's already on or off. Um, fridge right here. Not a, not a massive fridge, but, you know, good size fridge here. Let's see. Here. All right, pump is off. But water. Little cabinet areas here. We got a winch right here. You got your pooper, little pooper action. Got a shower. Gonna have to put some WD on that to get rid of that squeakiness. We have a loft up here. I'm gonna put, if I can, probably gonna put a, a queen, figure out how to put a queen bed up here. Either I'm gonna put a TV there or put a TV on that side. There's a plug there. But there's two wires coming out of there. I got no idea what those are for. And Big Blue never had a satellite. I asked him, uh, he was not sure. He just said, I don't know, he got it like that. So we're not sure. But we get down here. We have a um, belly lift. So when you put the car, the tire will hang right here. And you get maximum height going up. So you can pull, you know, whatever you would like in here. Now, Storage wise, from here, this flat part, we have all the way back 20 feet. And what's nice about this trailer, it is not 102. It is same thing, 108 wide. Um, I like the wide ones. If honestly, if you got a trailer that's 102, eh, that's, it's fine. But a lot of these big cars, they don't fit. So you need something at least 106 or 108 on the outside uh, portion of it. Because, you know, half these cars don't fit. So we got, I don't know if I told you, winch there. And the belly uh, system here is not hydraulic. It is also a winch up there. You can see that. Let's get this TV out the way over here. Oh, and uh, Big Lou left me his HDMI and his uh, phone adapter. Thanks, Big Lou. I appreciate that. Uh, there is, though, some stuff I do want to do with it. Um, there is a King... What is that thing called? I don't know what the hell that is. Big Lou never used it. He's like, I don't know what that is. It's a TV antenna. It says, I assume it has to be outside. I'm not sure why it's there. Um, I, I couldn't tell you why they would put it right there. So you guys can see that. No idea why they would put it right there. But there's there's some stuff I got to fix. You know, Big Lou used this thing like three times, so he never really got to play with it. But little things like, you know, like look at this. This thing's about to come out, so we got to tighten these or put new ones or put new holes do something with it because that's not going to work um like this right here you know this is coming up so we have to you know push this down before the car backs up and rips this whole entire thing off and destroys it um there's wires here no idea 
what the hell those are. Uh, Big Lou doesn't know either. So, um, yes, this is pretty much the inside of it. We have also, let me come down here, got lights up there. We got reverse lights there. We got more lights here, more lights there. Nick is going to come buff it, detail it, do, you know, polish it, get it as shiny as we can, clean the tires, rims. Uh, those are all filthy. We got lights here, awning. Uh, other than that, boys, that's about it. There's a two fuel tank, so it's got a 30 gallon and a 30 gallon, two separate ones, so which is nice because if you want to run regular 91 or um, you know, race fuel on that one, you can. And not too much storage, got good storage inside, but here's everything here. Obviously, we're going to change those batteries and we're going to do uh full lithium iron phosphate probably going to get rid of this it's a 30 amp we're going to convert it to a 50 amp because i want to put a mini split in this thing so that's kind of the only downfall is it has no mini split so you got no ac no heat so that's it's kind of a must for me and the other side really nothing special besides a window up there um that's about it electric jack and that's it guys you know this this is her this is the new toy so we got some 110 outlets there and then there's also an led strip under the awning um i want to test this awning out i called big lou i said yo how do you open this thing big lou got no idea he's never opened it um I, you know i've been looking for remotes there's no no button here so none of these control the awning um you know you just got speakers you know your display here the tv remote but none of this stuff controls the awning so i don't know you know i don't know big lou i don't know maybe when he got it he, he never came with a remote um but there's got to be a remote controller or something so i got i got a little work to do on this thing but i mean i don't even think it's all the way closed either see that gap i don't know if you guys can see this see that gap i don't think that's closed and then also you know we gotta like clean this up look at this chrome this is filthy so good thing is big lou did keep this inside uh i put it in there it, it like as far as i can some sticks out it barely fits like barely barely fits so um i don't know where we're putting this thing yet guys not sure but i do want to keep it shaded figure something out before summer so it is not just getting blasted uh by the sun you know and get it all faded that's you know one good thing uh Big Lou left it indoor, so that, that's awesome, that's cool. And he gave me some space heaters, <laughs> two space heaters. Um, I, you know, I honestly don't think these are gonna work that well. And these things, you know, they draw a lot of power. So what I would like to do, put a mini split, I was thinking about right here, like maybe something, I don't know, to build something here, just to go, just like that, and mount the mini split there, where, you know, it's blowing, over here heating or you know air conditioning the area um, i kind of like how it's like this because it gives me the option i don't know we'll see but to put some insulation you know then maybe um get some more of this uh you know silver stuff whatever you know i mean if you can buy it and you know insulate the whole thing and then put it all you know all over so uh, you know who, who knows we'll see we got some Got some big things coming for this thing, so uh, we'll see. And no, the attitude is not for sale. I'm keeping the attitude, uh, so no, can't buy it. And I will say, I towed her with the rammer. Boy, this rammer pulled like nothing. Oh, I, I don't know if I told you guys. You guys see my new RC car? Look at this thing. This thing is awesome. It is a uh, what is it called? Ba Baja Ray Losi 2.0. I believe that's what it is. I actually bought it for my son. Um, he's had a blast with it. So, but other than that, boys, that's about it. That's a quick update on what's going on here at the Eddie's Life Compound and the um, you know purchases that we've been doing. Um, nothing really new besides this and just going to the desert. That's it. Getting ready to head out this weekend and you know go relax, smoke a cigar, have a drink, and just hang out. But that's all I got for you guys. So thank you for watching this video. If you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Don't want to click subscribe. Peace. Yeah. Oh,